Well, hello everyone. I'm Jeff and welcome back to the Geek Blend. Today we're going to do a Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty unboxing. This is a past box. I don't remember which month it was, so I'll put that in the description with the link to this box. Um, got it off of Amazon as a back box, back issue, back order, whatever. And uh, it was on $12.99. Usually they're like 30 or 40 bucks for these boxes and it was on sale. And I'm like, you know what? I like the contents of that box, so I'm really going to get this one because I really want to pop this in here. So we're going to open this. Take a look at it and go over it together. Uh, again, um, go to Amazon.com, then type in Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. They do have a few of them on sale still, I believe, so check that out. Okay, so I have my skizzers here to cut this box open. By the way, if I'm looking that way, I'm looking at the monitor where I'm recording, so I apologize. Maybe it doesn't have tape. Hold on. Maybe not. I think it doesn't. So let's see. How long it takes me to open this box? Okay, doesn't have tape. I didn't even need these. So the box has no tape, so I don't need any scissors, so I'm just gonna pop it open here and then we'll start popping stuff out of it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna take a look at here is the, these are called mini figs, I think. Yeah, mystery minis from Funko right here. Take a look, see if you guys can see that. Yep, there we go, okay. And we will cut that open without cutting myself, which would be nice. And then we'll take a look at it. These are like mini bobbleheads. Still on the floor, whatever. Pop this open. Get out of this little cellophane package. Mr. Cellophane. Right, there. Oh, whoops, don't need that. Okay, so here it is. So it is a bobblehead. It's their mini fig. Let me see if I can get that close enough to you guys so you see it. See the bobble? There we go. There we go. Yep. So that's the first thing that comes out of that box. The microphone here. Okay, so here this this is the Dagobah. Dagobah box. Cool. So it looks like this is last year. So it says our January theme is Wookiee, so that would be and this is November of last year, it looks like. So this one also comes with a sticker. Ah, Jedi sticker. Nice. That is fantastic. I really like that. I'll use that on something. Maybe the Mac or something. Ooh, that's got the front of that. It's a little scratched. Okay, so let's dump these uh, contents out and take a look. Get that pop out of y'all. Come on now. Okay, cool. There's a couple other things to come with it. So before we get to the pop, let's do this. This is a... Sticky Notes. Let's open, let's open it so you guys can see it up close. Because, I mean, it's in the package. Maybe. Let's see how... I've already had, me and Jason did a couple beer reviews already, so I've actually had a few beers so, while I'm doing this, so let's go to the plastic. Okay, so these are R2-D2 sticky notes. Can you guys see those? Hope you can. Yep, so R2-D2 sticky notes, pretty cool. That sticker there. And then here is the pop. It is a Star Wars movie moments. Dagobah face-off with uh, Luke Skywalker where he goes into the cave on uh, Dagobah and um, sees Dark Vader. Cuts off Darth Vader's head, and the mask explodes, showing Luke Skywalker. Take a look at that thing. That is dope. Did not have that one, and I really liked it because, I mean, even though it's not technically a Vader, it's got Vader's mask in there, so it's part of my Vader thing. So I'll put it with all my other Vader stuff, but that is the box. So, so in this box, we have this. Funko Movie Moments. Uh, Funko Pop Movie Moments. The Mini Pop. The R2-D2 sticky notes, and then the Jedi sticker, which I really, really like. I might actually put that on my car. Yeah, that was upside down, by the way. There it is. There we go. Okay, so that's another unboxing, one of these uh, Smuggler's Bounty boxes. Um, they are done making them now. The Rise of Skywalker, I think it had Ray and some other stuff in it, was the last box they did before they stopped making them, so they don't make these boxes anymore. From what I've heard, they're going to do something different uh, because these weren't as popular as they thought they were going to be. Um, if you go back and look at a lot of the... OT or prequel trilogy stuff, they sell out. Uh, the Rogue One stuff does too, but the, the sequel trilogy stuff did not sell well at all. Uh, the box I got with the Knight of Ren and Kylo Ren with the, the helmet on, with the where they welded his helmet back together, like that exclusive in the last one I did. Apparently those didn't sell very well either, so people are not buying the sequel trilogy stuff as much as they had hoped. But of course, it comes to the original trilogy with Luke and Vader and that kind of stuff. People are going to buy the crap out of it. Of course, that's what I would do. I would buy the fuck out of this stuff because... 
original trilogy is where it's at. When I get my room completely done and not rearrange it a thousand times, I'll take you guys on a room tour and show you all my pops. And you'll see I do have quite a few prequel trilogy things, prequel trilogy posters, things like that. Because I do love the prequel trilogy as well. I'm not so much a fan of the sequel trilogy that Disney has done. I enjoyed Rogue One. I did like The Mandalorian. Uh, I, Solo was okay. Uh, so, meh. Anyway, that is this unboxing on this episode of the Geek Blend Collectibles. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I was a little bit more upbeat on this one because I, like I said, I'm a couple of beers in. So, a little bit more fun. And I really want to do that. It's been sitting over here on my desk for probably like three weeks since we ordered it and i'm like i need to do that and i need to do that and i didn't get around to it so but i did now so while we're doing this video i'm going to let you know too we are at 137 subscribers when we hit 200 subscribers we have a really awesome exclusive pop to give away i mean this one is sold out everywhere it's a target exclusive it's just a really cool pop. I will make a separate video showing that pop off when we get a little bit closer to 200 subscribers, maybe like 150 or so, I'll make a video. So make sure all of you out there share this video across social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Snapchat, whatever you can do to point people in our direction. Leave a like on the video if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you're a current subscriber or a new subscriber, hit the bell for notifications. That way you can stay updated on everything we release here on the Geek Blend. Uh, in the coming weeks, we got a lot of stuff coming out. I mean, I've got stacks of brew pub episodes. Me and Jason are drinking beer, checking out different beers, so you guys can check that stuff out. Uh, that's coming. We still need to do our Rise of Skywalker review. Uh, with his schedule and my schedule, it has not worked out. His schedule and my schedule, it's, it's hard to get together to do stuff. That's why it's been a little bit lacking lately, and of course, the holiday stuff going on. But we do have some things coming. Just wanted to let you guys know. We do appreciate you watching the videos. We do appreciate you liking, commenting. We do appreciate that. So we have our links for social media below. Our Patreon is below. Anything you guys give to Patreon goes right back on the channel. What it be for tickets for movies we go see to review. Uh, we need a camera, an actual camera for the channel. We need new microphones for me and Jason to do reviews together. It's going to go towards all that stuff. So we do appreciate that. But I'm rambling on because probably because I've had a couple of beers. That's probably why. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm Jeff for the Geek Blend. As always, if you geek about it, we'll speak about it. See you guys later.